There's a new luxury mattress in town, Clover Lane. Can it rival the hype of beds like Satva, Dreamcloud, and Tempur-Pedic? That's what we're here to find out. We are here in the Nerd Lab to run this bed through a series of geeky tests. I'll go end up on performance and give you my pro-con list at the end. So hit that subscribe button and let's get started. I wanted to kick off this review by letting you know that Clover Lane sent us this mattress for free to test and review and we may earn a commission should you decide to buy using the coupon links in the description below. That being said, no one paid me to say nice things about this mattress and if you want the negatives, I've built in a con section for you. Now if you want to know what to expect when you buy, Clover Lane has pretty epic policies that do rival Safas. You get free shipping and returns, white glove delivery, free old mattress removal, a full year to try it out, and a lifetime warranty. Now let's get into the review. It's time to open her up and take a look at the layers to see how this mattress performs from the inside, but don't try this at home or it'll void your warranty. Let's start out with the cover. Now this is a quilted Euro top cover, which adds some extra just cushion and comfort to the mattress. Then we have this gel infused foam layer, which is supposed to add a cooling sensation and a bit of pressure relief. Then we have this little latex layer that's just supposed to reinforce the lumbar zone and add some extra support to your low back. Then we have this transition layer, which is supposed to keep you elevated on the mattress surface. And lastly, we have this giant foam base layer right here. This is the durability of the mattress. And since it's so thick, I think this is a foam bed that will last you a pretty long time. At Mattress Nerd, we rate mattress firmness on a scale of one to 10, where 10 is the firmest. Now the Clover Lane Foam Mattress comes in three firmness options, plush soft, luxury firm, and firm. We tested the plush soft version, which was a surprising six out of 10 on our scale. So they need to do some restructuring over there because this is very firm, like way firmer than advertised. But we also wanna see how well it responds to your movements using this lacrosse ball. So as I bounce it on the floor, you see it comes right back up to me. Now let's try this on the mattress surface. We're getting a surprising amount of bounce on this foam mattress, which is pretty rare. I would guess it's the latex foam packed in here, but if you toss, you turn, you change the beam positions, this is a good option for you. Now it's time to see how well the Clover Lane foam mattress works with your sleeping position. Starting with side sleepers, of course. You guys need a mattress that relieves pressure from the hips and the shoulders, but keeps the spine in a straight line. Now this bed did offer really great alignment. However, we did see a shoulder pressure buildup for all three of the weight category testers. So if you have shoulder pain, that's something to be aware of. Now back sleepers, it's better news for you. All you need is a mattress that maintains a natural S curve. This bed did that very well for all back sleepers. Now, stomach sleepers. You guys need a firmer mattress to keep the hips elevated and in line with the rest of the spine. Since this is <laughs> so firm for a plush soft mattress, it's really good for light to average weight stomach sleepers. I would say heavy people should probably get um, the luxury firm or firm. Who knows how firm the firm is. If you sleep with a partner pet or child, you're gonna care about your bed's motion isolation. So to test this, I press my hands in the mattress, mimicking the feel of tossing and turning. We're looking at the liquid in that beaker. It's not moving too much, which is a good sign. Now we're gonna test this further by dropping a weighted ball into the bed to simulate someone getting in and out. And as I do this, there's a little bit more motion. It's not too bad. I would say it's not great for a foam mattress because the motion isolation should be better, but I would say that unless you're a light sleeper, you shouldn't be too disturbed. When I say edge support, I just mean how supportive the perimeter of the mattress is. So if you sleep with a partner and you want full use of the mattress space, that's gonna be important. Or if you're a senior or have mobility issues and rely on the edges to move in and out of bed, that's also gonna be important. And lucky for you, Clover Lane has super supportive edges. So while you're sitting there or while you're lying there, you shouldn't feel like you're gonna fall off or you shouldn't feel any slippage. Now Clover Lane is a new luxury brand, so let's check the price tag. Now throughout my time testing and reviewing mattresses, I found that most queen size beds range anywhere between $500 to $3,500. And both the foam and the hybrid Clover Lane mattresses are both $2,200 before any discounts, which is pretty pricey. 
but we do have coupons in the description if you wanna check them out and lower that price tag. Let's sum everything up with a pro-con list, starting with the cons. First up, price. This is a pretty steep price for a foam mattress. Usually you expect to pay anywhere between $800 to $1,200 for a good quality foam bed. So $2,200 is pretty steep. Next up, if you suffer from shoulder pain, this bed is not going to have the pressure relief that you need. I recommend a different foam mattress like a Nectar. And lastly, motion. So even though it's a foam bed, motion transfers a quite a bit on this bed. So if you or your partner is a light sleeper, I would say go with a different option. But there's good news, so let's get into the pros. First up, if you're a back sleeper, this is your dream bed right here. We can find anything wrong with it for back sleepers. Great alignment, great pressure relief. Next up, combo sleepers. Again, this is a foam bed, so it's pretty surprising. They usually aren't very responsive, but it's very easy to move around on the clover lane. And lastly, cooling. Again, surprising for a foam bed, but considering there's latex and other cooling infusions, you shouldn't sleep too hot on this bed. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think of Clover Lane. And if you found this review helpful, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe to the channel. It always helps. See you next time. Bye.